How's it going? A while ago, Ace Magician sent me a mini PC, which was awesome, and I've been using it for work ever since, and I thought my setup was pretty much as beefed up as it could possibly be. And then they sent me another one, and it's even better than the last. This is the AM06 Pro Mini PC from Ace Magician. I received this for free to review to let you know if it's any good or if it's worth picking up. I love mini PCs, I'm obsessed with them now, and I do pretty much 100% of my creative work professionally on this type of gear. Video reviews, ads, music production, game development, pretty much everything I do is done on some sort of mini PC. I'll go ahead and start with talking about my own use case for this thing. This little PC is an absolute powerhouse, and it's great for video editing, music and audio production, very light gaming, and it serves best as a little miniature workhorse PC. Like the last Ace Magician review I made, this entire video has been filmed, recorded, and edited on this PC. Here's the DX Diag. This little thing comes with an AMD Ryzen 7 5700U with integrated shared Radeon graphics. The model I was sent comes with a 512 gig NVMe SSD and 16 gigs of DDR4 3200 MHz laptop RAM. And that's something I think should be mentioned here, you're essentially buying a laptop without a screen. This is for people who do not need a top-of-the-line gaming PC and are mostly going to be focusing on work-related tasks. Of course, this is AMD hardware, so that gives you access to AMD Radeon software, which you should definitely use. So the specs we're looking at here I think are pretty impressive considering they're packed into a case the size of my palm. So here we are with the fresh boot. This is the first time this computer's been turned on. All I've done here is all of the standard Windows updates that you should always do the first time you log on to a new PC. After that, I installed my AMD drivers, which takes a couple steps. I'm going to link a couple videos in the description from a channel named Ancient Gameplays. Great channel, follow his tutorials, and you'll pretty much never have to deal with this problem. As you know, a lot of times you'll buy a new PC and it's filled to the brim with dumb as f bloatware that nobody wants and nobody needs. All because these manufacturers usually have monetary incentives to pre-install all that on their machines. Ace Magician does none of that and I cannot applaud them enough for it. This is literally everything that comes installed on this PC. It's just the normal Windows apps that comes with Windows 11 OS, so you don't have to spend an hour uninstalling bloatware. This might be a weird thing to go on a tangent about, but it's just a nice touch that I really appreciate. I now use this as my main editing rig. I mean, look at how snappy this is. If you know how to edit with proxies, you're going to be getting really good performance here. I've edited this video and the last two videos on my channel, and so far it's been pretty much perfect. The performance has been great, there's been no freezing, you're not going to be doing high-end VFX work on here. But for someone like me who the extent of their After Effects usage is limited to basically making audio spectrums for my music, it performs perfectly on stuff like that. It handles editing 4K footage pretty well, again, as long as you're using proxies. You're not going to be editing 4K raw footage. You're going to run into some freezing if you try and do that. Something else I want to hit on is the fact that this thing is upgradable. It comes with a SATA SSD cable in the box and a blank slot inside the case. So the first thing I did was slap in my own SSD and I've already upgraded this thing on my own. The RAM is replaceable, the NVMe SSD is replaceable, and you can add your own SATA SSD, which is just so helpful when it comes to the longevity of a piece of gear like this. Taking it apart is super easy. Take these four screws off and pull the bottom of the case off like this. Here you've got your two sticks of laptop RAM, your NVMe SSD, and there's a blank slot right here for that SATA cable. What you do is you put the end of the cable in right here and close the latch down on top of it. Then you slot your SSD into it, and on the back side of the case, there's actually a spot to secure your SSD to it. There's two little pegs here that should fit into the side of your drive, and it just snaps into place. Then you can just put it all back together and you're done. The heat dissipation is pretty much perfect, even under intense workloads when the fan does kick on it's pretty quiet and non-disruptive. It's turned on a couple times at full speed over the course of recording this video. It also comes with a VESA compatible mount, meaning you can mount this thing to the back of your monitor if you wanted to. Aesthetically, I love how this thing looks. There's no crazy RGB lighting. It's a level of maturity and restraint that you don't normally see with other manufacturers online. So that's just yet another little thing I appreciate. I'm going to start with Baldur's Gate 3, just to see what happens. Cutscenes are definitely going to be taxing on this. I'm kind of shocked that it's even able to play cutscenes this smoothly. Yeah, like, this is, this is not bad so far. I'm 
kind of shocked that it's e able to even pull off the frames it's pulling off. This is not horrible. I could see a world where this is tolerable for me. For it being a, a PC the size of a cell phone, basically, I'm impressed. All right, now we have an oldie but a goodie, Borderlands 2. I think a PC like this will definitely lend itself a little bit better on games that are more stylized and from previous generations. You're going to be looking at like a solid 30 to 50 FPS in a lot of these older generation titles. So for gaming, I wouldn't say this is that great of an idea. So if this is going to be like a kid's first gaming PC, maybe this will be a good idea. But I definitely wouldn't recommend grabbing this if like this is going to be your main gaming rig. Now for the most important game of all to benchmark. World of Warcraft Classic. I don't know how this thing's gonna hold up with a 20 year old game like this. Wow, what a surprise. That's crazy. This is like the only game I plan on playing on this PC. <laughs> this is my time killing game for when videos are rendering basically. Yeah, like this is totally fine. Like this being the game I spend most of my time, this is completely fine, honestly. <laughs> There's no way I'm gonna be raiding with this performance, though. Next, another oldie but a goodie, Rise of the Tomb Raider, which is another, I guess at this point, older title that I'm gonna use to sort of push this PC to its limit here. Yeah, this is honestly totally fine. For what this computer is, it's not bad. Okay, so this is called Geothermal Valley. It's a location in the game that has notoriously horrible performance. I guess it's like a locked 20 FPS, which is not horrible. It's not good, but I guess this does kind of give you an idea of like what this thing is capable of when it comes to gaming. I mean, it is able to run it. I will say that. <laughs> It's potato-fied, sure, but it's like, I've seen worse. Hopefully you're not buying a mini PC as your main gaming rig anyway, so like, gaming performance shouldn't really matter that much. But, you know, I think it's just good to know anyway. So yeah, this little PC is amazing, and I'm genuinely impressed by how well it performs in creative tasks. It's not going to be a good gaming rig, so hopefully you're not getting it for that purpose. You're not going to be running 4K ultra settings 60 FPS in Halo Infinite, you're going to be getting low settings 40 FPS in Fortnite. So for gaming, it's very important to keep your expectations low. When it comes to creative tasks, that's where you can set your expectations a bit higher. So it does exactly what I need it to do in my line of work. If you want to pick one of these up for yourself, I have an affiliate link down in the description, or check out my other reviews if this isn't the one for you. I also post my original music on this channel, some of which in the future will probably be produced using this PC. So stay tuned, mother- <laughs> So yeah, with the right precedent set, I cannot recommend this thing enough. It's a great little piece of gear.